Well, we call it Introduction to Recording Engineering. Um, in the class, uh, we teach students uh, everything, you know, as, uh, the basics from basics of audio physics, basics of cables, how they work, <laughs> what different connectors there are, microphones, working with stands and other partitions and studio equipment, and the students need to turn in a song in the end, um, especially as a uh, certification course, as we call it. Um, although the class used to be uh, for credit, uh, they don't get credit anymore to take the class, so there's no grade uh, officially, you know. So we're kind of a, a fun little club getting together every Friday, recording in the studios. Our goal is to teach them to work with the equipment responsibly, and then after they've passed, then they can work on their, on their own stuff. I really challenge them and expect them to learn a lot from it. Um, you know, sometimes we refer to things as being roadie 101, just the really simple stuff that can help you get a job and keep a job. After students did this, then they wanted to do more. So we started doing an advanced one, too. Beth's class is as she said, it, it is Roadie 101 of how do you make sure that you can get through a session and, and not blow stuff up. And my class that, uh, you know, again, we co-teach, but you know, there really is Beth's class and then there's Dave's class. My class is more Studio Engineer 101. And uh, whereas her philosophy is, you know, how to not blow stuff up, uh, my philosophy is how to not get fired. What these students are finding is, this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life, or wow, that was exceptionally useful for me, maybe this is something that I don't really want to do because wow, this is hard. Uh, because being a studio engineer is not an easy job. I, I am exceptionally proud of the students that we've turned out. Uh, Christina Tan, she's now working front of house at the Key Club. Um, Colin Gordon, uh, he is producing for an independent record label. Uh, Kevin Nash and Ahmad Borgian from two separate classes are both now working for Hans Zimmer uh, at his studio. And Joseph Lorge, who uh, works with uh, the producer for Weezer. Pablo Hoppenheim, he started his own company. It's called E-Session Strings. He is paying for his current existence purely using the lessons that were taught by Beth and I. Some of them, they, they start getting that, that bug and they're like, wow, this is the best thing ever. And we've had a lot of successes as a result. It's it's super cool to be able to you know, be part of that process where they knew nothing before meeting Beth and me, and then, or very little, relatively speaking, and then by the time they're done, they're going out starting careers doing this. It's a secret kind of art, and some people think it's something that you're born with or not, and I don't, I don't teach that. I say, of course, you can learn this. You just gotta put in the effort. So, um, so yeah, the, like I said, we get a lot of thank you cards at the end of the year. They all sign it and they always say it's the best class they took, so they like it. <laughs>